so first to, to your exchange over General Honore today, what, do you think this man who is an open partisan and I would say a bigot um, and a conspiracy person, could he take the role that Nancy Pelosi has designated him for, do you think? No, this is absolutely outrageous, Tucker, the idea that he's going to lead a security review. This is a guy who did what we've seen the liberals do time and again. He blamed the police first. He has no facts. He has no idea what actually went on. And he's out there blaming the police and saying that they're complicit, that they helped the rioters. And it's absolutely outrageous. But if you look at his history, he has over and over again blamed law enforcement. He criticized law enforcement who were responding to rioters all last summer, including in Portland and elsewhere. This is somebody who has no business, no business leading a security review. So the capital city of the United States is still occupied by the U.S. military tonight. No one will make them leave or even demand an explanation for why they're there. Now we learn that the FBI stole, took, with no warrant, stole, effectively, phone records from members of Congress and anyone who was at the Capitol that day. How can that be legal? Yeah, I'm not sure that it is legal, Tucker, and I have to say it's, it's unbelievable to read this stuff in the press. This is the only way that members, to my knowledge at least, that members of Congress are finding out about any of this. And once again, we've got the FBI going and doing this stuff without oversight. Now listen, our law enforcement agencies should be tracking down criminals. They should be bringing them to justice. They should be prosecuting them to the fullest extent of the law. Yes. The issue here is, and we've seen this movie before, We've seen the, these law enforcement agencies go way over and above and sweep in law-abiding activity. We've seen the corporations get in on this act. You reported about Bank of America voluntarily, apparently, turning over customers' personal data. Now we've got the telecoms, apparently, turning over, it's reported, uh, the, the messages, uh, cell phone data of folks who we have no reason to believe were anything other than law-abiding. I mean, this is really, really frightening stuff. And to those who say we need a new domestic war on terror that will give even more unaccountable power to these law enforcement agencies without any kind of oversight, well, that is a scary prospect, and I'm totally opposed to it. There needs to be real oversight here and real accountability. I mean, if the Democratic Party is trying to create violent extremism, they're doing exactly what you would do if you wanted to create it. I mean, they're making people paranoid and crazy. People feel totally undefended and afraid. Will more Republicans stand up and say, wait a second, we want to, you know, what are the troops doing here? Why is the FBI stealing our text messages? Will anybody push back other than you, do you think? Well, I, I sure hope so. And, you know, you heard today at this hearing, I mean, you heard at least one other member, Senator Rick Scott, asked, what, what about all these National Guard troops, thousands of them here? Why are they here? Nobody had any answers for him. I mean, nobody could answer him. We still can't get any answers as members of Congress. So this is, there's got to be real accountability. There's got to be real oversight. Yeah, it's starting to really scare people. It really is, I think. Senator, I appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you.